humans love to identify themselves, and we especially love the ability to change that identity when we see fit. Unsurprisingly, we build this interest into our applications and technology, and we utilize things like certificates to serve as stand-in for personalities. Now, certificates are a form of authentication and identification that are commonly part of something called a PKI, or Public Key Infrastructure. I wrote that out specifically so you can go and look it up somewhere else. <laughs> uh, seriously, though, PKI is a complicated concept, and it isn't really within the scope of what we're talking about related to the AZ-500 or Azure Security Technology Certifications. What we need to know about certs as it relates to Key Vault and this particular prerogative we've got right now is that they are a resource that can be presented to represent an identity. The most important thing to take away from anything related to certs is understanding that they have a level of validity because the cert is validated by another piece of infrastructure called the certificate authority. Now, CAs or certificate authorities can be a server that you manage. It can be a web host like Komodo or one of those other ones out there on the internet. Or it could be a, a, a piece of infrastructure that you've set up in IaaS that's hosted in the internet but is privately managed. The trick is, is that whoever or whatever is going to be getting this certificate needs to be able to communicate to that certificate authority to validate it. Otherwise, if none of this applies, it's what we call a self-signed cert. And uh, that is exactly what it sounds like. It's a certificate that says, I am who I say I am, and that's all you need to know. Now, we browse into the Azure portal and open up one of our key vaults. We can take a look at what the certificate blade looks like in, in the real world. So again, we open up our key vault. We go to settings over here on the left-hand side, and then we click that certificates blade. Once connected, we can take a look at our options. We can see that we can generate or import a new certificate. We can restore backup certificates. We also have the ability to specify our certificate authorities. Working from right to left, we take a look at our cert authorities. We can see that we have the ability to add one by specifying the name of the provider and then the account ID, password, and organizational ID, which is going to be your account information represented to either DigiCert or GlobalSign. So those two public certificate authorities are available to you if, if you would like to have this automatically presented and published PKI tree, and all you got to do is just have this cert sitting in your key vault. Actually creating said certificate is as easy as clicking that generate slash import button. Uh, keeping in mind all of this can be done with PowerShell, of course. And we're going to go through the, the, the wizard here of either generating or importing new. Obviously generating is creating fresh here. And it's going to ask us if we're going to be using a certificate issued by an integrated CA. That's one of these that we were just talking about, DigiCert or GlobalSign. Alternatively, we can, let's see, go back into our certificate wizard here. There we go. Uh, we can also do a certificate issued by a non-integrated CA. Like, for instance, if you had a Windows server that had the certificate authority role installed, and you had the certificate generated from it, you could host that here. You would just need to explain the subject, give it a DNS name so that it can find that server, and explain how long it's going to be valid. The rest of this is going to be specific to the certificate itself and your preferences on how you want to use it. Do we want to use extended keys? Do we want to specify our key size, our key type, that's RSA or elliptical curve, create a cert, import a cert, generate a cert that's self-signed, or even generate a cert that's attached to an integrated certificate authority like DigiSign. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.